Yo, hey, everybody, it's Guanthwe of Guanthwe Plays and Spooky. Yo! We're gonna be playing one player of um, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Leader. Um, probably one of the best games for Star Wars ever. One of the best. Yeah. But apparently, there's another one with two player. Yeah, that, that Spooky didn't know anything about. So this one's a little placeholder until I go out and get that one, because I had never heard of it. And now I need to it's go get it. It's only been out for almost 10 years, but he's never heard of it. Well, freaking, I, I got out of the game Yeah. when it came out. I, I wasn't married to the game at the current moment. Yeah. So anyway, this, this has to be one of the best ones because, well, for me anyway, because I love, like, flight simulators and, and, like, flight shooters and stuff. And also because, well, it's Star Wars and the graphics in this were amazing for, well, for the time, for GameCube. Yeah, for GameCube as it a launch, really good. Yeah, as a launch game, it's like, oh, well, here's a new system and look at this graphics. They are almost like the movie. Look at all these graphics. Look at all these graphics. Yep, so it was like the movie? Almost like the movie. I remember thinking it looked like that, though, seeing it in Nintendo Power. Yeah. That kind of, I was like, oh my god. Because I remember like seeing the, the pink uh, light off of the um, X-Wings, you know, in the back of it, the thrusters. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, that looks just fucking gorgeous. Yep. Gorgeous. So we're going from Yavin Fall. Little, uh, little, um... Geek info here at the uh, base that we're in right now, where we're, we're taking off from, is actually a Sith temple in like the uh, extended universe. So I don't know why the rebels make a temple from the Sith into a rebel Just base. Just to be badass, like, like, like yeah, we don't care about the Sith ghosts. Yeah. All right, let's see. Star Wars. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the Clone, the Clone Wars voice. Rogue Squadron Two. I don't like the, I hate that guy's voice. Rogue Leader. I, I Clone, Clone Wars is a good show and all, but I hate that guy's voice. They should never narrate this stuff. It is a period of civil war. The Rebel Alliance is preparing a major attack against the evil empire. This sounds like a 1920s serial. Launching from a hidden base on the fourth moon of Yavin, which is also a Sith temple, the Alliance forces hope to destroy the Death Star at Armored Space Station with enough power to decimate the entire planet. This is like the slow version. Yeah. Luke Skywalker! I hate when they do that. In words, Antilles! Two young Rebel recruits have joined the Alliance in a brave attempt to restore freedom to the galaxy. Let's hope our boys come back after the war. <laughs> <laughs> Give your wives hugs and kisses and your children pats on the head when you walk in the door. Dun, 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 dun. Slow crawl. Okay, yellow letters, you're overstaying your welcome. <laughs> yeah. You can't even Don't see any more your lines now. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, now pan down. Pan down. Pan down. Pan down like almost always. Pan down. Oh, uh, to, pan the down left. to the left. To the left. Uh, Look at the beauty. Man, I remember seeing this and I was like, this is the movie. This is like the screenshot that I saw in yeah. like Nintendo Power where I was like, oh my god, how does it look that good? I was like, there's no way that's gameplay graphics. <laughs> graphics. He's like, that's what you sound like when you read Nintendo Power? Oh yeah, totally. There's no way this is gameplay graphics. And the weird part is it sounded totally normal for the rest of the day, but like it was just when I was reading Nintendo Power, I was like, <laughs> what is this issue? <laughs> It's like a new Metroid game with first person shooter running oh through it. What a new Zelda! <laughs> it's, I mean, I couldn't help it. It's, uh, it's oh, yeah! Speech impediment. Woo! Explosions! <laughs> oh, I can see you're genuinely having fun. Oh, I'm loving this game. Yeah! Kill yeah! all the Metal penises. I don't remember this being part of the movie, but I do know that this happened. What, the tedious part? Yeah, this part. Because I remember they shot, like, two of these in the movie. But there's, like, seven of them here, I guess, or eight, I guess for gameplay purposes. There's, like, 200 here. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, these are shield generators, I guess? I don't know what these are. Some shit. But there's a lot of them. Yeah. Do you ever use the, uh, the squad commands? Yeah, once in a while. In Battle of Endor, I was using them. I want to never using them, because I'm lazy. I'm like, bitch, I just want to shoot things. <laughs> 
One more to go. Oh, so you hold Z and it like levels your sights. That's weird. What's he want you to do? I don't know. Squad leaders, we've picked up a new group of signals. Enemy fighters coming your way. Oh yeah. No shields, just flying laser cannons. Dead, dead. Big switch, follow me. Let's close up. Right with your Spock man, form up. When's the last time you played those? Uh, 2005 ish. Not Long time bad. ago, like before the Xbox 360 came out. Actually, kind of handling it. Yep. Doing your do. I just wish I could remember how to do the um the nav computer. Oh, uh, quarter circle back square. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, is it? That's what it is. There is a, a really, like, there's a certain charm that I love about, like, actually polished uh, GameCube games that just, for me, I don't see it on any other systems. What do you mean? Like, alright, if you took, like, a GameCube game and a PS2 game, right, there's there's just a certain, like, charm of, like, the roundness and, like, the, the softness, I guess, of, like, a polished GameCube game. As opposed to other systems? I'm not yeah, getting no, your point. It's, it's kind of like, you know how you can tell, like, what, um, you know how you can look at a game and know that it's for Dreamcast? Yeah. I can look at a game and know that it's for GameCube. Based on, like, the lighting and, and everything else that's relevant that just gives it its whole look. But there's something nostalgic for me with, like, because I think of things like Luigi's Mansion. Like, that's another yeah. really polished GameCube game. Yeah. And it just looks amazing. But... I, I guess it's probably all about the lighting. Because that's what I notice the most. Especially in Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion has a very rounded, soft, like, art style to it. That's what I mean. You, like, you can put the art style in different systems, though, and just they just... It wouldn't look the same, though. I don't get that. I don't get your point. It's just... It's all it's all rendered by the GameCube. Yeah, but GameCube, PS2, and Xbox can all do the same thing with, with like, the limitations of Luigi's Mansion. Because everything's in one room. So, what I'm saying is, I know they could copy it, but they didn't. Like Xbox and GameCube, they can do the same exact games. PS2 would have a little harder time. Yeah, but no, yeah. you don't understand what I'm saying. It's it's like they could, right? They could copy it, but they didn't, which made yeah. it have its own thing of like its yeah. own size. But if they were to port, you would not be able to tell the difference. Yeah, but I'm saying they never did. Yeah. So like, there's still that thing where you could tell it's like a GameCube game, you know? Oh yeah. Down to live dangerously. First person mode in fast speed doing this thing. That's pretty nuts actually. Yeah. I can barely even see what I'm doing, so make it worse. No, making it better. No. Do you want some pop up ads to put in front of that shit? <laughs> like, is there a radio you can turn on? <laughs> I wish. I've been listening to Star Trek and like, Ooh. Oh, God. <laughs> Blasphemy, sir. Blasphemy! <laughs> For Doctor Who soundtrack. Woo! I mean, Woo! I mean, I can't say, like, I don't like Star Trek, because, I mean, I, I do. The, movie, yeah. the new movies are good. Well, well the so new movies. old show. Like, no, I, I, don't, I, can't I, I like the old show. I can't deal with the show. It's got a certain thing to it. I dig it. Yeah! I did it. I'm the best, man. I did, I did it. Old oh, school. God, it's so old. I don't even remember that was from. Um, uh, Tosh Boy knows an episode about it. There's this, like, fake rapper guy. Like, he thought he was a good rapper, but he Oh, terrible. Eli Porter. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was his name. I'm the best, man. I'm Mike and Eli Porter. Yeah. I completely forgot about him. Somebody's else thinking Chad Warden. Chad Warden. Oh my god. Like, literally, he was like a thing for maybe a week. And I don't even know if he was really a thing. I think it was just... Like, Die, Vader! Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hide your rage. Was, it like, was he like really a thing, or was it just for us? Like, something that we He was had? really a thing. It was all over MySpace. Oh, okay. Well, does that make it a thing? 
Yeah. <laughs> well, Mizer was the hugest thing back then. Yeah, it was. You what? Die? You're flying too dangerous. He's a loose cannon, but a damn good cop. <laughs> I mean, you know, pilot. <laughs> I want to kill Vader. You have to, like, shoot me and kill me? Yep. That's kind of what the Empire wants to do. Well, you're in the trench right now. If you go above the trench, just uh, like I'm an gonna, actual I'm being war. blasphemous. I'm going to use a nav computer for the, for the, the last <laughs> shot. Luke, you turned off your computer. No. Oh, shit. Wait, I did. Oh, let me just. All right, here. <laughs> <laughs> that was stupid of me. I hope he's not talking about the big giraffe. Yeah. Alright, there's the wall. Slowing down. Where did Crosshair go? Oh. He overkills it. Uh, you missed. No! <laughs> yes! Instant. Instant. <laughs> Karma. <laughs> we just witnessed the end of Star Wars. Movie's over! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, <laughs> let's try that part again. My turn. Alright, we're running time on this. <laughs> let's try this again. Back again with try two. This is how I'm not going to destroy the entire Rebel Alliance. Yeah, how about you um, maybe wait a little bit on this one? Yeah, oh, there it is, there it is. Still wait. There it is. Not close enough. There it is. Not close enough. There, there it is. Not close enough. There it is. I don't, I don't trust enough. the force. So I'm gonna keep that computer on. I don't trust it. However close you think you are. Oh, wait, do it. Do it. You can't what? use the computer. You have to use the force. Oh God! Let's try this again. All right. It's not that I. Am failing at this? It's that I'm wow. not trusting the force. That's that's kind of failing at it, though. No, I gotta trust the force, and I guess I have to come to terms with the fact that this religious reality is true. So the force is real. Of course it is. Yeah. It's the force. There we go. Yup. That's all. Just one, one button. That's it. That's it. It's complete. I got what? A, a gold? A bronze? What is that? I'm Those sure it's a bronze. It's a bronze. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't destroy enough enemies. Oh well. Well, you were kind of rushing a bit. Yeah. I didn't destroy the gun. Fence thing under top? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Mirage Dragon. Shoot the bomb. Shoot it. Alright. I'm gonna die. Roll, roll. Shoot him in the Why can't I do barrel rolls? Okay, there. I was gonna say. <laughs> what kind of Star Fox game doesn't have barrel rolls? Oh shit, this is not an escort mission. Yes, it is. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> hey, you wanted to play. I didn't want to play this shit. It's the only choice sitting next to uh, uh, Battle of Hoth. I would have rather done Battle of Hoth, if I'm honest, which I'm not. Why are they able to do loop de loops and you're not? I don't know. Why am I not able to find anyone? You're an computer. Uh, go do some shit, obviously. Use your radar. 